Okay, now for a question from the new Mechanics 1 textbook. Uh, a question uh, about vectors from the chapter review, chapter 3. The first question, um, page, page 50 actually. It's actually on page 50, I've got page 48 up there. But it's actually on page 50, I won't stop the video, I'll just correct it by a pen. Okay, it's supposed to say page 50, that's all. Okay, no problem. Now, a Coast Guard Station O monitors the movements of ships in a channel. At noon, the, sta the station's radar records two ships moving with a constant speed. Ship A is at the point with position vector minus 3i plus 10j kilometers relative to O and has velocity 2i plus 2j kilometers per hour. And ship B is at the point with position 6i plus j kilometers and velocity um, minus i plus 5j kilometers per hour. Show that if the two ships maintain these velocities, they will collide. So let's look at ship A first. Let's look at the vector for ship A. Okay, the equation for the position vector of ship A at any point. Now remember, you have r equals r0 plus v times t. That's a general equation. Okay, for the position vector of an object, given that this is the position at time equals zero, and this is the velocity vector. So for ship A, its position vector is minus 3i plus 10a. So you can say its position vector at zero, okay, at, at the time at noon, so we're called noon the beginning time, the, the, the time at time, time equals zero. Okay, is going to be 3i minus, minus 3i plus 10j. So I'm going to leave it right in this column vector form because I prefer this in these type of questions because it makes life easier for your calculations. You have to keep writing i and j everywhere. The top number is i, the bottom number is j. And it has a velocity 2i plus 2j. So this is 2, 2. Okay, so the position vector of a at any given time is going to be given by minus 3, 10 plus time... plus the time times its velocity and for b okay for b we can say that r0 is 6 1 and the velocity vector is minus 1 5 so we can say rb is equal to 6 1 plus t times minus one five now if they are to collide then they will be at the same place at the same time okay so what we need to do is to make these position vectors equal to each other to see whether they're going to be at the same place so you got minus three ten plus t times two and two we're going to see for at what time will they be at the same place if they're at the same t place at the same time that means they will collide okay so let's first see what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, we're going to equate the i components together so we have minus 3 plus 2t minus 3 plus 2t is equal to 6 minus t okay and that's equ equating the i components together the top numbers and for the j components you've got 10 plus 2 times t is equal to 1 plus 5 times t. That's, compa that's um, comparing the j components. Now, I'll do is move these down a bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the equation, each of them separately, and then see what happens. Let's, let's look at the first equation. You're going to have um, 2t plus <coughs> t. Sorry, 2t plus t, that's 3t, is equal to 6 plus 3, which is 9. So 3t is equal to 9, so t is equal to 3 hours. <coughs> now, if we get 3 hours for the next one, we're also... If we get 3 hours for the next one, that means they'll be in the same place at the same time. So now let's see what, gets, what we get here. We got 10 minus 1 is equal to 5t minus 2t. That's 9 is equal to 3t. Yes, so we get t is equal to 3 hours. Okay, so therefore, <coughs> the question asks us, 
Yeah. So therefore, the ships will collide if they carry on the same course. Okay, because they'll be at the same place after three hours. Okay, because both the I and J components at three hours will be exactly the same. Okay, so now, part B. <clears throat> okay, part B, it says the Coast Guard uh, radios ship A and orders it to reduce its speed to move with velocity I plus J kilometers per hour. Okay, given that A obeys this order and maintains its new constant velocity, find an expression for the vector AB at time T hours afternoon. Okay, so again, we've got our general equation R equals R0 plus V times T. Okay, so we know R0 is the same place as it was initially, which is minus 310. And R, uh, sorry, V now is changed. V is now I at 1 plus I plus J, so it's 1, 1. So therefore, the position vector of A, the new one, okay, ah, the position vector of AB at T time, okay, so that's not, that's not, so RA, yeah, we can find what RA is, it's not answer though. It's minus 310 plus, make my plus look like a T, plus, T times its velocity vector 1, 1. Okay, and we know the position vector of B was the same as before. The, the position vector of B, general one, is 6, 1 plus T times minus 1, 5. So 6, 1 plus T times minus 1, 5. Now they want to find the vector from A to B. Okay, so we got, for example, there's O. Let's say that's A and let's say that's B. Okay, I'm not putting them realistically. I'm just putting anything down here okay we want to find the vector going from a to b so it's it's going to be minus o a we can see a to b is like going from a to o which is minus o a plus o to b okay so it's basically o b minus o a so the position vector okay or you can say the the vector a to b is going to be given by o b that's RB minus OA, which is RA. So it's going to be this, it's going to be basically minus 310 plus T11 minus the vector. Actually, what I'll do is I'll make it make a bit easy for us. First, I'll make some more space. And secondly, I'll do something slightly different here. Let me move these things down a bit. I'll do something slightly different here. What I'll do is, I will write, I know that I know that basically what we want, the vector A to B is RB minus RA. Okay, so RB, I'm gonna write it as six minus T. Just write this in one, one vector, six minus T and one plus five T. Okay, and I'm gonna take away from that RA, which is minus three plus T and 10 plus t, 10 plus t. So when I subtract these vectors, I'm gonna get six minus t, six minus t, that's gonna be plus three and minus t. Okay, that minus will change both of those. And the j components will be one plus five t, minus 10 and minus t. Okay, so let me just simplify that. That's gonna be six plus three, which is nine minus 2t and that's going to be 1 minus 10 minus 9 and that's going to be plus 40 4 times t okay so it's saying find an expression for the vector a to b so we can write it as in, let's write it in the same kind of format that they wanted us to write in the beginning let's move these things out of the way here okay now what we have to do is basically we got this so this is like whoops this is like you can say the vector from a to b will therefore be you can say uh, 9 minus 2 t i and plus you're gonna have minus 9 plus 4 t j 
if you want to write it in the original format, we can say that's going to be 9i uh, minus 9j plus t times, and you're going to have um, t times, you're going to have minus 2i plus 4j. Okay, that's going to be 9i minus 9j minus 2ti and plus 4tj. Okay, so that's the vector from A to B. Okay, that's part uh, B done. And now for part C, it says find uh, correct to, to three significant figures the distance between A and B at 1500 hours. Okay, so that's pretty simple now because basically we know the we know that, that the vector from A to B is given by this. I'll write it, I'll keep writing in this form when I'm doing my calculation. So I know the vector from A to B is given by 9 minus 2t and minus 9 plus 4t. Okay, so basically at, t, at three, three, 1500 hours, t is 3 hours basically, because remember it was at 12 noon, that was 0 hours. So we can say the vector from between A and B at when t equals three hours, okay, the vector the, the 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 vector between a and b at t equals three hours is going to be nine minus six, which is three, and minus nine plus twelve, which is three as well. Yeah, nine minus six, three, and minus nine plus twelve, which is three as well. Okay, so now we can just continue and find basically. Uh, what we need to find now is the magnitude of the vector a to b at that time. So the magnitude of the vector a to b is going to be its, the, the, the distance. Okay, this is the displacement. So it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared, which is 9 plus 9, the square root of 18. We want to find it to three significant figures. So we have to round that to 3SF. So we're going to have root 18 and round it to 3SF, which gives you 4.2426, 4.2426, which gives us 4.24 um, kilometers to 3SF. And then part D, part D, it says, find the time E will be due north of A. Okay, so we know the relative positions between them is nine, we know the vector A to B, the vector from A to B is equal to, the vector from A to B is equal to uh, 9 minus 2t and minus 9 plus 4t. 9 minus 2t and minus 9 plus 4 times t. Okay, that tells us the position vector between A and B. That's how, that's um, the relative position of A and B from each other. So when it's due north of A, when B is due north of A, so for example, this tells you how to go from A to B. Okay, if this is A and this is B, that's when B is due north of A. Okay, so that vector here, its I component has to be zero. Okay, its I component has to be zero. Okay, so that's when we know it's going to be due north, you see? If that's A and that's B and they're due north, the vector from A to B is going to be zero and something. Okay, so the, we know for sure that 9 minus 2t has to be zero for it to be due north because the I component of the vector from A to B has to be zero. So we can say 9 is equal to 2t. So t is equal to 9 over 2, which is 4.5 hours. And there we have. So here we have t equals 4.5 hours. However, you've got to be careful here. That's not actually our final answer because the question says find the time at which b will be due north of a. If it starts at 12 noon and four and a half hours later, it's due north of a, that's going to be the time it's in terms of 24 hours, 16. 30 okay you could write 4 30 p.m if you want but i guess it's best to write it in 24 hour clock so that's the answer because they're asking the time not how many hours the time okay that's an important point now uh, the answer to this question okay if you look at the answers at the back and this is the reason why i was asked this question because the student he's saying for part b he was doubtful that the answer in the back was correct and i agree with him actually because if you look at the answer for part b question one part b okay the answer for question one part b according to the book is as follows 
Okay, we can see it here. The answer to part B is this. All right, and that is not, see, that is what we got when we wrote down the position vector of A after T hours with the new, uh, with the new speed that it's going at. Okay, the new velocity that it was told to go at. Okay, so if you look here, that is the position vector of A minus 3 plus Ti and T plus 1J. That's the position vector of A, but the question does not ask us to find the position vector of A. It says find the expression for the vector from A to B at T hours afternoon. So this, in fact, in the answers is wrong. Okay, this is wrong. And in fact, it should be, well, as we wrote, and you see the rest of the answers came out correct, it should actually be 9 minus 2 ti plus minus 9 plus 4 tj. That should be the answer here. This is actually the real answer for part B, for question number one in chapter review three. Okay, thank you for, for watching.